So we got a call, and I know I'm in the wrong seat, but there's good reason for that. The good reason is Rory, remember Trail Mater. So Rory has offered his truck and trailer to take us out to a job that's out by Lake Powell, uh, Page area. We're going to be recovering a vehicle that is only stuck a little bit. Should be easy. Before it's sunk. Yeah, but it's, it's had some water. It's, it's sand and water, which has kept it there. It's Trail Hero. We have a lot of friends in town. We're gonna have a, a rather large entourage today. On the trailer, we have the Morver, and behind that, we have the BSF Recovery Tow Truck. That's right. BSF is coming along to help with this job. And we don't have Trail Mater on Trail Mater's trailer. <laughs> I was just going to say, and we also have Rory. So what's going to happen is we're going to have three off-road recovery experts just knocking heads. Experts? Experts. I'm feeling more cheeky than my channel really is right now. I just want to paint you a picture of how bad we're abusing Rory right now. We left Trail Mater in the yard and we loaded the BSF Recovery Wrecker on Rory's trailer. And the Morver. <laughs> yeah, and the Morver. Hey, hey, hey buddy. <laughs> Want to go on a recovery with us? Yeah, want to go to recovery with us? You can bring your truck and trailer. So I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit bad here about the situation, but I think it's gonna work out, and I'm excited for the day. It's about 55 degrees this morning, feeling good, sun shining. It's gonna be a good day. She's a machine. All right, we're headed out to Paige to get somebody stuck in something. We're following Matt and Rory and everybody else. I dated a girl named Paige once. It's time for a little update. We are in Fredonia, Arizona, just south of Kanab. We're gonna be stopping in Kanab for fuel. Everybody's gonna grab a water. We're gonna grab some really terrible food that's gonna taste delicious. Fredonia, say it with me. Fredonia, it's a fun word to say. Not as fun as Tuila and not as fun as Swather, but Fredonia. I thought for a minute there, Matt might have stole my wrecker, but we caught up to him. <laughs> I got orange juice and these snacks. I got some Mountain Dew and some I got some popcorners. Green pea snack mix, thank you, crisp. Are those any good? I think so. So we are here, uh, Trevor and Tucker headed into town. We're trying to find the peoples, because we're going to pick them up. Well, they're not bad. It's so like what happened? So we were yeah, off-roading. We got into a wash, which is no big problem, soft sand. And while I'm getting out, the deflate is getting ready to go. And I'm looking behind me, and a freaking flash flood is coming down the wash. Breaking my heart. We told Rory he could come with us, but he had to wear the gear. I ain't going to bring my truck. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's such a sore spot. <laughs> well, good morning. Morning. I'm Matt. Matt. Michael, nice to meet my wife. Angela. Angela. It's me. Angela. Cool. So I've got, I've got BSF cover out of Wisconsin. Okay. They're here for Trail Hero. Okay. So we're having them help today. to a tree okay i mean it's a little one but i guess it'll work from keeping it floating downstream if we do a little bit of shovel work at the tires yeah and just yep, it works Beautiful. just get to pick up yeah it's definitely gonna help break the suction let's try it hey i'm here to spectate i don't bring i don't bring the best just to ignore them Hey Rory, hmm. at least you're being 
being helpful. Right. I'm helping. Good job. That's why we brought you. <laughs> and so you could haul us out here, that too. <laughs> Three, two, one. Is this better or worse than you thought? That's about what I figured. So we're going to see if this will start up. I've never seen anything like this. This is really amazing. Starts up. What are you guys doing? Sunbathing over here? It's a beautiful day. Cold blooded like a lizard. So we got here and we were looking at it. I asked Rory what he would do. I think he gave me some good advice. This is the first time I've used it in like three years. <laughs> we don't use shovels. <laughs> Want to try and detach that? I bolt it on from the uh, underneath. Oh, okay. We just take some pressure off from it. This is going to lift up on top of the sand pretty quick. Teamwork makes the dream work. What makes the dream work, Lizzie? <laughs> Teamwork! <laughs> Well, we're gonna try and see if we can pick the front end up uh, up out of the wash here, uh, get the front end free, and then uh, we'll go from there. Most of the time, you just start out with one piece of the puzzle and keep working through. I'll just give it a little bit. Lake, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, horrible supervisor duty. I got my hands dirty and everything. It was awful. But it's out. Now we just got to get it from here back to the main road. It went a lot easier than I thought it would go. Usually when I'm pulling them out of mud, uh, the mud has got a better grip on it than the sand does. I was actually expecting to, uh, the front end of the wrecker coming up in the air, and I was expecting that we would have to uh, anchor the front end of the wrecker down with the Marveyor. In this instance, sand is better, yes. It doesn't uh, it doesn't suck you in like the mud does. And these guys found, uh, the sheriffs last night found them. Uh, they knew they could maybe try to call uh, any tow truck or something to get them out, and they said, no, we want to call Max. So I grabbed my keys, I'm standing right here, I unlocked the generator, throw the generator up there, come yep. back with the dog, grab the dog, throw the dog up there, and soon as that, because the whole back of the truck gets hit with it. Because we were uncertain of our outcome in a situation like this, we called 911 because it was raining, it was cold, you yeah. know, who knows how long rescue's yeah. gonna be to get out here, so. At first, I'm thinking the back end of the truck's on to sink in the mud down here, so I get a whole bunch of straps and everything, I tie onto a tree up there, yep. and the truck starts going down, rips the first tree that I'm tied into oh, no. right out of the ground. So then I end up having to use about like 10 rafter straps, like the lightweight Home Depot ones, put them into a big loop, and make a line long enough to go up to a tree up there, tie it off to it. Yeah. It kept it here, stayed here overnight, and yeah. you guys came out here this morning and got us out. Well, awesome, let's get, let's get turned around and get it back on the rocks here. Well, that was that. We got it out. I'm glad we had the wrecker here. That would have been a lot of work just pulling straight. I feel like a couple of bumps with the rope would have got it out. But it was pretty it was stuck in there. I, when, when I saw this, I was glad I had either Rory or Eric here. <laughs> well, this all worked out. I'm so, so happy. Well, awesome. Okay, well, let's just head up. Yeah. And uh, we'll meet you there at the trailer. Okay, I'm here with Blake from BSF Recovery. He's uh, one of their camera camera guys 
And uh, what do you think about... Uh, Running this, in the sand. This is no joke. I, I love watching you you and Rudy and uh, Lizzie running up and down the sand dunes. And yours, I was like, oh, it's... Dude, it, I, I worked out for three weeks getting my cardio going. Oh, I'm going to keep up with them. You left me in the dirt. It's See, hard. I ain't lying when I'm <laughs> complaining about it. It is no joke. It is no joke. Okay, let's see you jump in. See if you can do it as smooth. Well, okay, so first you got to put leg in. Uh-huh. Then you got to dip the head in. Wow, you got the hang it. of this already. Yeah, you must do it, it often. <laughs> that was definitely a job for the record. I'd have got it with this, but it wouldn't have been that easy. See, I, I'd have probably dug and got the rack out. I pick and then I hold, or I hook my lower winch up. Mm. And so then I have force. I'm not pivoting off the pole. Right, because the, and the, the amount of forward. strength he can pull with is the weight of the vehicle. Yeah. But if you had one straight to it, now you've got. That's why the additional winches are on. All right, so we got there and pulled it out. I pulled it out. It wasn't too hard. I was uh, kind of surprised. Uh, the clay, when they're stuck like that, that deep in the clay back home, uh, it's a real chore to get them out. This actually seemed, uh, I hate to say it, Matt, but kind of easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, glad, glad to bring you along. So that was a ton of fun. I'm glad, I'm glad we had a wrecker there. Glad we had Rory there. It was a blast. That's how we got here, man. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, I'm chauffeuring the pros today. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll just leave it at that. And thanks for watching.